see all of you. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Thanks for letting us come to see you. Yes. All right, so today we're going to read, or I'm going to read, The Night Before Christmas. Do you know that story? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, <you> can <laughs> Okay. So here we go. "'Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. And the moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. A away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. What do you think he's going to see? <laughs> Santa, yes. <laughs> With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. Okay. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that bore the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the coursers they flew, with the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stuff of his pipe that he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round little belly, that shook when he laughed like a ball full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head, soon he gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. 
and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. He sprang to his sleigh and to his team gave a whistle and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. You see that? But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. Right. How are you guys doing? You doing good? Yeah. I'm with the Mr. Mary Cook here. <laughs> Come on, get up here. Come on out. Mary and I have. A, I'm, I'm going to promote him. <laughs> and make him a congressman. Look, I, I want to thank all the staff here. It's special, special what you do. And uh, Mom and I, Joe and I, spent time in the same like you parents did with our children in other circumstances. But, you know, that old expression, life there's hope. Hopefully you're all going to be here. Hopefully you kids are going to come back when you're out of the hospital and hang out with other kids that you even know what it's like, right? So thank you, thank you, thank you for all you do, and I'll see you hopefully before next Christmas. The next Christmas I see you, maybe I'll see you at the White House. Huh? All right. Well, thank you all so very, very much. Thank you, Merry Christmas. Thank you. the night before Christmas and what a treat Dr. Biden to have you read that classic story for us today. I would like to express my deepest gratitude on behalf of Children's National Hospital to Dr. Biden and President Biden for continuing this annual tradition here at Children's National. As you can see it brings so much joy to all the children, the families, and our staff. So thank you for coming this afternoon, and I wish you happy holidays, and everyone, happy holidays. One more thing. Every single year, there's more and more cures for me. Every single solitary year. So as my father would say, keep the faith. We're going to beat all this. I promise you. I promise you. And there many, 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 many kids that are patients, and your president remember us, okay? I'm going to say, Joe and Jill Biden are out in the waiting room. I promise you won't say who. Right. Thank you. We love you all. God bless you. God bless you. Good health.